Hello, this is Tim Steiner for Trees Tree Tents. It's a beautiful May day out here in uh, Vermont in a nice little stand of woods we enjoy. We want to show you a new model. It's our new bivy sack, uh, entry level, ultra light. Uh, we call it the Scout Trooper. I'll tell you a little bit more about why in just a minute. Uh, you can sleep in it open like this. Uh, even though it's a small and entry level model, uh, it's got all the same stability, you can't turn it over, you sleep in a nice lineal axis like sleeping in bed instead of hung like a sack of potatoes in a hammock. Uh, you can move around in your sleep like all of our other models, hang your legs off the side of the bed, which I'll be doing very shortly. Uh, we have over it our sill nil fly out of 1.3 ounce per square yard sill nil, very light, very strong. You can sleep in the open, put your sleeping bag under it on our suplex floor. A very nice, comfortable, uh, very strong fabric floor. Uh, if it gets a little bit rainy or a little misty, you can just put it over you like this. You want to take a couple seconds and get up, you can tie the corners out, and I'll show you that when I set up the whole thing. Or it'll go on and set up to a fully covered tent, uh, all in one. Uh, this is kind of the child of our original bivy sack style, uh, which was called the Flying Bivy. Uh, there was a time when we called the Alpha. Our, our fancier flagship tent, uh, the son of the Flying Bivy, but actually to get back to real bivy sack, lightness of weight and entry level economy, uh, this would be the son of the Flying Bivy. So we'll show you how it works. I'll lay it back here so I can climb out and get out of my sleeping bag, which I just have laid over me. And up on the side of the bed, just like all trees tents, completely stable and level. Get my camp mox out here, which we can still tie all kinds of things up and around our campsite. We have packs and my main hiking shoes over there. And up we go. Now you can bring this, as I said, up and over. Without getting out of the sack at all, you can take the corners and tie them here to the anywhere that's suitable. Here's a corner. And just give it a quick tie if you just want to cover your face during the night. Uh, we also have tie outs all the way around as we do with all of our flies. You'll see them every couple feet so that the, the fly can be tied under and gathered together for inclement weather or tied out wide as porches and screens. I'll show you a little more of that. But let me show you the setup of the tent and all this goes right with the model. We have a little pole system here by Easton. The whole thing weighs 3.8 ounces. I'm pretty proud of that. And I'll give you some weights on everything as we go along. It's a four section pole. There are a couple of uh, spacers, O-ring spacers right toward the middle to help it stabilize the tent. We'll show you how it works. There's only one. Let's see if I can get to it easily. There's only one point for the pole, one loop, and you bring it through and center it between the spacers, O-ring spacers. And again, we started with a minimalist base, but the minimalist is made just for open use or for just laying your own fly over. And now we've designed a tent. So we've modified our minimalist base a little bit to receive this pole. And in true bivy style, the tent itself holds the pole up, just like our old flying bivy. Let me get it squared away here. There we go. And you take your corner ties, bring them out to any point on the line. Yeah, so they. They lodge really well in here if, you, if your setup is such that this is in reaching distance, and that'll vary from setup to setup. And we'll, we'll prepare that to tie it out. I'll put a temporary, temporary line in it. And then uh, the bivy, like I said, it's a true bivy style. It's not erected unless it's uh, brought up and tied out. So we have a central tie in our, in our center seam. And you just take a loop, a single hitch, around our main tree lines that hold the, the whole platform off the forest floor. And then take a second hitch, and if you want to make it easy to get out later, just don't finish that hitch. Finish it with a loop, 
and uh, then you can do your tie outs. And we'll tighten this one up a little bit. It varies a little bit from setup to setup, and I'm just uh, winging it ad lib here. It's it's that uh, it's that intuitive. Again, as with all trees tents, we try to make them so they'll fit in many different settings and and work with the the various trees you you have around to work with. Uh, we tell people for all of our tents, uh, take along some extra string to do your your uh, circumference tie outs in order to get a nice taut tent or fly. And we've done that here and laid these out in advance. And by spreading out your canopy like this, you also get more rain protection. You also get more underneath area if you spread your canopy wide. And we usually tie these with just a, a slippery hitch so we can yank them right back out if we want to. And again, these loops are all the way around the perimeter of the fly, approximately every two feet, so you can tie everything out wide and have a nice wide sun cover or sunshade, or for light rain. And if it begins to rain more steadily, you can drop these. And then the third stage is to bring them all together and tie them together with a light line underneath the tent for a, for real uh, weather security. Uh, caught momentarily here on our tensioner. I'll let it bury, but I'll show it to you briefly while it's here. It's a much simplified tensioner from our, our flagship line where we're putting 3 to 1 or 5 to 1 or, or even more tension on it. It's got a simple uh, auto cleat and a backup safety cleat, and that goes into our tree line bundle. These are our tree lines. Um, we do get, we call this a 2 to 1 plus because we get one-on-one -on -one tension here. And then we get mechanical advantage as it goes through each of the, of the tree saver bands. That makes it a two to one. And then our final tensioning is done by, I tied it off already, done by our D-rings as on all of our other models, which we've just neatened up here. But we have a D-ring tensioner that tightens everything in. And then a lot of times we'll take a minute and neaten it with some simple hitches just to get it out of the way. And then if we want to, we can put back on whatever slight lines we've rigged, uh, such as this one. And again, like I said, we recommend you take a little ball of string with you when you go camping, because you're going to have different configurations of trees in each setting that you're working with. Or you can even stake to the ground. And then we'll just show you the interior from this side. So I probably should take that a loose again, just to give myself a little working room. And here's the nice interior. Plenty of room for a sleeping bag, and it's where I just was, where I just was, of course. And again, uh, you can also got a line rigged over here. You can do just about any kind of versatile things you want. You can take a couple of these tie points and join them as one as a yoke. This is just an example. Again, versatility is something we really work at and are proud of. And you can build yourself a little porch and tie it off for good weather. Uh, sometimes people could also uh, tie the, the feet out or the foot end area out wide in order to have good breathing come up through. And again, this could be the leeward side and this the windward side, so you've got some protection over here. If you're careful, uh, you can make a little pocket out of these and tie to local, uh, local branches close by and form a little place here to collect potable water. Obviously, you don't want to catch too much of it. Uh, our new Scout Trooper. Uh, we call it the Scout Trooper because we're making it especially for groups like Scout Troops or other outdoor groups to get in economically. If you talk to us, we do all of our orders as we make, make mention on our website many times as a personal order. So give us a call and talk with us. If you're buying in quantity, we'll certainly give you a better price. But the beauty of this, even at full retail for one unit, the whole unit, both as a bivy sack a partially covered bivy sack, a fully covered tent with porches and screens with underneath camping area, $339.
It's our basic trees concept, simplified, made as lightweight as possible. I was going to tell you about weights. The entire weight of this whole unit, including the su suspended platform, the fly, and all the mechanicals, is just about four and a half pounds. Uh, I mentioned that the, the pole, for instance, is only uh, three and seven eighths ounces, I believe. So it's quite a unit. Give us a call, talk to us, and we'll get you into a scout trooper. Thanks.